Hey Aries, welcome to your general reading for September 27th through October 3rd. For anyone with Aries in their sun, moon, or rising. Cross watchers, you are more than welcome here. Just keep in mind that the energies can show up reversed for you. And again, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what does not, okay? And also, we are coming into the week with Mercury retrograde, okay? So be mindful of that. Be patient with yourselves, okay? The energy is going to be um, a little wacky, right? It might be a little heavy. We might have pop-ups of return, communication issues, technology issues, stuff like that, okay? So you guys are showing up this week as the King of Pentacles, okay? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy, okay? Your challenge is the Five of Swords, okay? The world just tried to pop out, all right? So some conflict might pop up, okay? Or you may be dealing with that now, right? Where it's like kind of trying to knock you off balance a little bit, okay? Um, I very much see you like trying to embrace your power, right? Like even though um, the energy has been heavy, right? We've been talking about it the last few weeks in your readings and I see you trying to embrace your best self here, okay? So, and just kind of go forward. Let's see. Um, okay, yeah. So, we have the Emperor in the reverse, okay? There's your energy right there. Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, okay? You want the new beginning so bad, right? You're trying to go for it. You're trying to go for it. But, and I'm sensing this, and maybe it's the conflict that's, like, tipping me off here, but it's, like, you kind of feel, like, I don't know, like maybe you're not ready, okay? Or you don't have the right skills. Like it's almost like, um, I don't want to say you feel like a fraud. It's not that deep. Maybe for some of you it is with the emperor in the reverse, but it's just, you feel like your skills are being tested here, okay? You're wondering if you have like the strength, okay? Um, to move out of some kind of cycle here. Let me clarify this five of swords energy, okay? This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, this could be mental conflict as well. If you're not in conflict with somebody else, this could just be you burning yourself out from overthinking, okay? Uh, the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Wow. Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You are chasing your happiness and moving into a direction, which is a beautiful thing, okay? But you're also... Let me back up. You're not chasing it. You're imagining setting goals um planning okay the seven of pentacles is like an analyzation card okay um it's not much action it's very slow movement okay but the ten of pentacles it's like but you're giving everything serious consideration okay with the four of pentacles in the reverse you may want to one pay attention if you are truly just kind of I never want to say wasting time, but that's kind of what it feels like. There's there's, no, there's nothing left for you here anymore, right? Um, or you're not looking around seeing the gratitude that you should embrace now, okay? The Four of Pentacles, when we're balanced, is a resting period. It's a period to take appreciation for how far you've come, okay? You're being really hard on yourself right now, okay? So you may feel like you're your best excuse me, like you're your best self, right? You're showing up that way. And then we have some conflict and it challenges you. It might trigger you, okay? We're in the season for it. Or you may feel like you're struggling and the divine is saying the challenge is to give yourself a break, okay? Um, your focus is the chariot. Either way, you want to move forward here, okay? Cancer energy. You are ready for a new way of being, okay? You may not feel secure. Two of pentacles, but you're trying to find that balance. Yeah, it's like, thanks for helping me finish my sentence. Okay, again, the world is popping up at the bottom, okay? There's definitely a cycle that has to close, okay? It's clear. You're, I feel like your soul's ready and you just feel scared. Maybe you've never done it this way before, which probably means you're on the right track, okay? Um, let me clarify more for the chariot, please, spirit. Okay, so the Six of Cups in the reverse and the Fool. Mm -hmm. More Aries energy showing up here. Okay. Your soul wants to take the leap of faith, okay? But, or excuse me, you want to take the leap of faith, but 
Your soul really wants you to clear something out, okay? Find that closure or absorb that gratitude. Take notice how far you've come, okay? There could be um, a lesson, right, that you realize looking back, like something clicks for you, okay? Or this may just be like being kinder to yourself, right? Um, being more appreciative of your journey and how far you've come and not being so critical, right? Like your own worst enemy here, okay? Your soul needs nurturing. That's 100% clear here, Aries, okay? In your past, the six of swords in the reverse. Hmm. It's, okay, I'm getting like you're trying to move into a new chapter and bring something with you that can't come. You've tried this before, okay? The Six of Swords is all about moving into calmer waters. When it's reversed, it's because our load is too heavy to bring on that boat, okay? We will sink, right? And there was this realization, okay, that you knew you needed to change something, to leave something, to clear something out. We saw the world pop up like crazy, okay? The realization was there, but the baggage, the weight was too heavy to bring with you. There's something else. You have to go deeper to clear it out, right? Three of Wands in the reverse, the Hangman in the reverse, Five of Cups in the reverse. Pisces energy showing up very, very strong here. Yeah, you wanted a new beginning, right? But there was a lot of feelings involved, grief, okay? And you were trying to not look at that. So you were never able to gain that clarity on how to move forward, right? Or how to release the baggage because it's like there was this, the three of wands is like, this is it. I'm going. I know what I'm going for. New road. I found myself. We're going. I'm very in alignment. Okay. Oh, and you were like silencing yourself or something silenced it. Okay. Something cut it short. Perhaps the divine temperance is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Sagittarius energy. So I'm talking about being kinder to yourself. Okay. And I'm going to listen to my own advice here. This had to happen. The stall. Okay. You couldn't move on yet. You had to go back and learn. Your challenge is to learn it right now, okay? So if you're having deja vu in a situation, right, and you feel like you've been here before, please listen to that, okay? Please have patience with yourself, okay? Your angels are absolutely with you here, okay? Uh, all right, your strength is the tower in the reverse. Yeah, what I just said. It's your job to clear it out now, okay? You're in the position to do it. You have what it takes within you to be able to go within and heal this and it's a core whenever i see the tower in the reverse okay um that's like a core shadow work type of wound that needs to be looked at that's something that our first layer right our our solid foundation there's a crack there we can't build upon that same analogy as moving on in cal calmer waters we can't put weight on it until our foundation no longer has that crack Okay, Gemini energy with the lovers in the reverse. This could be regarding a relationship, okay? Knight of Wands, wow. Five of Wands, yeah, someone you're so passionate about. This is mirroring energy right here, okay? This is like twin flame, highly sexual energy, okay? Not, but it's ego. It's all ego. The conflict, the passion, it's not coming from soul anymore. That's the problem, okay? You need to go down to the core and evaluate. Um, for some of you, it might be the relationship, but also yourself, okay? The core of that relationship and the core of yourself. You have to know yourself to know where your relationship is at the core, okay? And that might be what the strength is, really examining where you are and what you can bring and build within this relationship because... I'm getting, it's like the connection that we once had, like we're, we're losing it here. Now it's attachment. Now it's fear, right? It's not um, unconditional or unattached, okay? Going forward is the six of pentacles in the reverse. Ooh, okay. The four of wands and the moon just popped out. There's a lesson to learn here about how much you give to a situation, how much you take from a situation, Okay. It's in your shadow. For some of you, you may be um, taking too much. 
from someone expecting too much, right? And you're, it's your job to go within and ask yourselves what you're expecting, why you need it, and why you're not able to provide that for yourself, okay? Vice versa, you may be giving too much, okay? It's your job to go within and ask yourselves, what are you giving too much of? You know, things like this, okay? There's a lot of shadow work. Check your playlist. I just put out a full moon and Mercury energy mercury retrograde shadow work video i can't speak <laughs> tis the season but um it'll address a lot of the stuff okay and if you need a personal reading my email is in the description box below however your advice is the wheel of fortune allow destiny to take its course here allow karma to play out it's in the upright things are in your favor okay this is all happening for a reason this isn't because you're supposed to learn a lesson and stuff no You've learned the lesson. You're through the hard part. Now it's the transition, but you have to continually do the work, okay? You can't numb yourself out to that, okay? A bunch of cards fell out, guys, and I'm going to put these right back into the deck, but judgment, okay? This is the card of second chances, okay? Reconciliation with yourself, with someone else, but you have to meet yourself, again, at your core, okay? nine of cups, six of wands, wanting victory, making wishes, okay? But at the same time, here's the nine of swords and the four of swords in the reverse. Boundaries are huge here to protect yourself, okay? And prevent yourself from, I'm really just getting like a breakdown, okay? Really just losing it all, okay? Um, yeah, so just allow what is flowing to flow don't resist, okay? But again, this is showing that it's in your favor, okay? It's all working for the highest good, rest assured. What you don't see coming, and I just got like this panic feeling, um, is the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Something you have been trying to devote to, maybe trying to force, okay? Could be talking about your strength position in that tower moment, okay? Whether ready or not, here it comes, okay? It's this, and I've seen it pop up in a lot of the readings, idea, okay? And it could be regarding love, right? We saw the lovers. But something has to look a certain way. And maybe this is about you and needing to be more kind to yourself, right? Um, you thinking you have to carry all this burden or carry all this stress or have all these skills, whatever that means for you, okay? That viewpoint, that mindset, that's about to be challenged, my loves, okay? Knowledge is power, so <laughs> prepare yourselves, okay? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> as we get repeating numbers, 4-4 four, four, and then temperance, okay? Your angels are so with you, it's not even funny. This is all divinely guided. All of it, all of it, all of it, okay? I know that there's a lot of pain here with letting something go. It feels like nothing will ever feel this special again or this good again. The divine sees that. Yeah. But it's your job to go within, okay? And find out how you can show up for yourself during this time, okay? A message from your soul. Wow. Queen of Swords. Speak your truth. Know your truth. Be willing to adapt, right? Don't get stuck in that Eight of Pentacles reverse, okay? Um, feel confident with what you're learning. Trust yourselves, right? But be willing to learn at the same time. Hear somebody out or look at something a different way. We saw the hangman earlier, okay? And ask yourselves if it identifies with you or not. Get to know yourself, Aries, okay? Knight of Cups, I've been seeing that pop up as an apology in a lot of the readings, okay? It could be an apology to yourself, to your soul, okay? Ace of Wands, ooh, Eight of Cups, yeah. You need to speak your truth here about this new beginning of love because I'm seeing you put your energy into something that doesn't identify with your soul anymore. Eight of Cups, you're left feeling abandoned, alone, even if it's not physically alone it's emotionally alone right going forward queen of wands in the reverse detaching from what identifies with our ego the 
the star in the reverse aquarius energy eight of swords the sun wow the star in the sun yay i know the star is in reverse okay but this is just because it is deep rooted pain here okay aries be kind to yourself okay you're having a test of faith right you um lose this right or it feels like you've lost something and it's like what was the point of all of this that is a self-restricted energy that's you wearing a blindfold be patient okay even when you don't understand just meet yourself there and just be like i don't understand this but i know that there's a higher purpose and i will okay because things are about to be illuminated my loves trust in that okay your connection to source <laughs> I'm actually going to skip the Romance Angel Oracle cards and pull Divine Feminine Oracle for you. Okay, the Queen of Saintly Woman. I am in service of divine love. I move the way love asks me to move. Yeah, so remember we saw that, just letting things flow, okay? Keeping it easy. Take that advice. Let the karma play out, okay? It's in your favor. I love you guys so much. I hope that this was helpful. Please, please, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know if it resonates. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.